So in the time lapse, you'll see me deliberately introducing errors, and I will even place the case of the unit upside down just to show you that the orientation of the instrument's case is completely irrelevant because the internal mechanism is always aligning to true level. And what I'd like you to take particular note of is that upon completion of each correction back to level, this pendulous vein will be half blocking the airport. You can see it's wide open right now, but at the end of each exercise, it will be half blocking the port, which indicates it has aligned back to true level. And after it has a minute or two to self-align, I will deliberately place it upside down, inducing a 180 degree error, and you can watch in the time lapse how long the correction takes. So we'll start the stopwatch as well. As you can see, the unit is upside down, and we'll just watch the time lapse video now how long it takes to correct. And you can see if we look down from above, the gyro is upside down. Those are the pendulous veins at the top. So they're now taking action to self correct the gyro back to level. And as you can see, the case of the unit is upside down, but that is irrelevant because it is the internal mechanism that will align back to level. <laughs> 